I'm here to tell you that I have almost 15,000 followers on Instagram and I've done it by filming on my iPhone. I have never filmed on anything other than my iPhone and this is back when I had the six. So if I can do it, girl, you can do it too, okay? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Carissa and if you are new here, hello. I make lifestyle videos and um, stuff like that. You know, I, I kind of do everything over here. Oh my gosh, I'm getting red. Am I nervous? <laughs> For today's video, I am going to be giving you guys five tips to filming high quality makeup videos on your iPhone. I did have a video that honestly just keeps growing views by the minute. It is called how to film high quality videos on your iPhone. I will have that link down below for you guys so that you can check out that. I feel like that is definitely a video you need to see before you watch this one because this is kind of going into the details of that video. So honestly, I'm just gonna dive right into the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and then subscribe and then hit that little notification bell. Why do I sound like a broadcaster? We're just gonna hop right into the video. All right, guys, so I'd be lying if I said that I didn't want a high quality DSLR camera that I could film all of my makeup videos on, but the reality of it is I'm broke. I'm really broke and I can't afford a camera right now because I have other priorities that need to come first. So I kind of have to work with what I've got. So today I wanted to give you guys five tips that can really help you when filming on your iPhone when it comes to making makeup videos. If you're new here and you don't know who I am, my name is Carissa and I do lifestyle videos here on YouTube, but on my Instagram, I am strictly really fashion and beauty videos. I come out with makeup tutorials on Instagram every other day. So that is kind of what I'm known for. Okay, I should wear red lipstick more often. My teeth look white. Am I gonna be able to focus? Probably not, I need some caffeine. Tip number one is your lighting. This is the most important tip when it comes to filming high quality videos on your iPhone, as I do film on an iPhone 8 Plus. However, I started out on an iPhone 6 and honestly the quality looked not much different at all. It is honestly the most important thing when it comes to filming because no offense if I go to somebody's channel and it's grainy and it doesn't look high quality, obviously we're privileged in this world. We don't wanna watch that. So I try to make my videos as high quality as possible. And let me tell you, some days, some days it's not working for me. Sometimes I will try to film on my iPhone and it's just not working no matter what I try to mess with or do, the lighting just doesn't agree with me. And that's when I put the camera away, girl. That is when I put it away because it is not worth putting the content out there if it is not high quality. What? If it is not high quality. So as I mentioned in the other video that is linked down below, I do have a ring light and two studio lights surrounding me. Honestly, my lighting setup has probably changed from that video. So if you want an updated one, I can definitely show you guys. But I basically have two box lights right on the side of me. And then I also have this lamp in front of me with my ring light. And then I have my little mirror ring light next to it. I am putting so much lighting onto me. The reason being is because I am living in a basement. So I have no natural sunlight to come to. To me however in this video of my best friend cutting my hair that i put up um almost a year ago i believe that got a lot of traction and honestly the quality of that video is a1 it looks amazing and i actually got some comments on how great the quality was asking what camera i use and i'm like my iphone lighting was really awesome that day in that particular area where i was filming that video i had a window here and a window here so both of those windows were literally like shooting right at me. That is going to be your best friend. However, I had to invest some money into lights because one, I had to film at night after I got off of work. So I needed to have some type of lighting when I didn't have natural sunlight. And two, now that I'm in a basement, studio lighting is what I count on for my high quality videos. I will link down below uh, the cheapest options that I can find that are similar or exact to the lighting to the lights that I have. I only paid $40 for my ring light, guys. I was looking every single day until I found that deal. Christmas is coming up, so you could probably get a ring light for that price. So I will link some down below for you, as well as the box lights that I use. So tip number two is to use the focus tool on your camera, your iPhone camera. So basically what you do is you take your iPhone, and I dabbled into this a little, why did I just do that? I dabbled into this a little bit, in my last iPhone video, but basically what you do is I put my face like this close to the camera, right? 
and then I put it to the side and I'm gonna hold down on where my face is at and it's literally going to lock that focus in place. So basically anywhere that I move my face, that's where the focus is going to be. So the brightness won't change or any of that stuff. It will all stay the exact same. So what I also do is I will drag my finger up or down and I'll do it here so you can see. So we're focusing. So you can see we're focusing and that is a little bit darker than what I want it to be. So I'm gonna drag my finger up and voila you have it brighter and you can, you know, if it's too bright, you can dim it down, but that shows you how much light I actually need when being in the basement because even with all this light, it still wasn't really bright enough. I had to brighten that with my camera. So that is a very important tool that kind of goes hand in hand with the lighting. Definitely, you know, hold it in focus of your face if you're doing makeup videos because I mean, your face is the focus of the video and then you want to drag it up and down. And I do that for vlogs and everything too. I'll focus it on something and then, you know, drag it up and down. You really got to work with it when you're working with an iPhone. It takes a lot of extra time to film, but if your video quality is coming out just as good as someone who's using a camera, that little bit of extra time, it's going to be worth it. And just moving on to that same tip, but kind of expanding on it. If you're trying to do makeup videos specifically, what you want to do is like a lot of times products look too bright when you're really pulling up that brightness. So what you can do is do the same exact thing that you did on your face, but with the product. So I'm holding the product here. We'll hold it over here. I'm going to focus it. And actually I'm going to bring it even closer. And there you go, look at that. So this is really, really cool because it not only is focusing on the double wear foundation, I can turn it this way. Anything that is close up, it's gonna focus on. And you can kind of see how it's focused on there, but here I am in the background and I'm blurred out. And then you just put your face back to it and you're back to how you wanted it in the beginning. It does take a little bit of extra time, but that makes a huge difference because when you're putting that video out and it really focuses on your product, not only do you not have to really explain in the description exactly what it is, although I do that anyway, it also kind of gives you that like DSLR kind of vibe because you know how they have that the lens that really makes it focus so that everything in the background is blurred except for like whatever you want it to focus on. Well, you're kind of able to do that with an iPhone. I couldn't do it like right here talking to you guys like this but I can do it when I'm showing you products which is exactly what I do for my makeup videos it makes it look so much more higher quality which honestly people love that shit so it gets me more views tip number three is to take your time and I keep saying this I honestly kept saying like it's gonna take a little bit of extra time but blah, 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 blah. take your time it takes me about an hour and a half to film a makeup video. That's a lie sometimes it takes me like 45 minutes to an hour but a really really good one it takes me about an hour 15 to an hour and 30 minutes because I'm doing the whole focusing thing, because I'm making sure the lighting is consistent the entire time. I'm taking so many different steps to make sure that my content is where I want it to be. You have to work with what you have. And if you really want the end result to work, you will put in that extra effort. I really wanna be an influencer. I wanna make it my full-time career. Well, it kind of is my full-time career, but I still have to have a job on the side to help me pay my bills because I don't make enough from influencing yet. But I really want to make it a full-time job. So what I do is I spend that extra time and I work extra hard so that I will get to the end goal without having to go extremely broke from getting a $2,000 camera. Take your time when you are filming your videos. Take your time when you're filming, girl. Quality is over quantity, okay? It is way more important to get that quality video with your iPhone. You can do that. I probably should have put a disclaimer that I'm like weird as fuck, but. <laughs> tip number four, to film slowly. Now this is completely different than tip number three, okay? So don't, don't, don't think that I'm just trying to repeat stuff to add some tips, okay? Filming slowly, it's so much different than taking your time. What I mean by filming slowly, so when I'm doing my eyeshadow, okay? Here's my eyeshadow brush that I use for this, all right? I usually blend like this, right? I'm going really, really fast. People don't wanna see you rushing, okay? Basically, what I do, I will blend like this. I'll blend slower and I'll look at the camera or close my eye. Make sure it's, you know, centered 
I'm just gonna do this without talking so that I can show you how I kind of speed it up to make it look more professional. All right, we're gonna put some lipstick on so I can show you that. <laughs> That's hilarious. So basically what I do with that, I do everything a little bit slower. Like, of course, you know, I'll just get a little bit of a clip for the video and then I'll like speed up and just do whatever I do. But you want to get that perfect shot for the video. And then I will do one of two things. I will either slow that down or I will speed it up. So for my eyeshadow, we're, I'm going to show you what I do. Um, I speed it up and this is what the end result is looking like. And then for the lips, we will slow that down so that although I was going slower when filming, it looks even smoother. Now I'm really going to focus on talking to you guys about the slowing motion because the thing about filming on your iPhone is that, you know, it is lower quality. Whereas if you were to use a DSLR or, you know, one of those fancy cameras. So I go slower so that it's easier for my computer or my editing software to kind of see what I'm doing versus if I'm going fast and I'm trying to edit it slow. When I'm going really slow, it's easier for my editing software to kind of see exactly what I'm trying to do and slow it down to where it actually is a little bit smoother versus if I go really fast like this and I try to slow it down, it looks really grainy and it just looks like low quality and that is not what I want. If that makes sense, I really hope that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, I can try to expand on it more. You can just comment down below. But if I weren't to tell you guys that I film on my iPhone, I bet you if you were to see this video right here, you would not think that I am using an iPhone. If you were to see my makeup video where I put my Estee Lauder foundation and focus that in you would not think that that's an iphone so my last and final tip is to hook your phone up to your laptop if you do not have a laptop that is okay because i will tell you what i used to do before i learned how to do this i would get a mirror and i would literally put it right behind my iphone and i would just look at myself in that mirror and that would kind of be my viewfinder so Everybody, you can go get a mirror. Go get a freaking plate at the store that has a reflection and then like tape that shit around a light. Like I'm telling you, I used to do all that and I'm still at the bottom of what is high quality and I still make it work so that it looks high quality. And I did back then and I still do now and I really just wanna share these tips with you guys. But if you do have a laptop, this is something that has seriously helped me so much. Basically, I take my iPhone charger and I hook it up to my laptop and my laptop is literally sitting right here on my desk. I go to the finder tab, I type in QuickTime, I go to QuickTime player, open it up and then I go to file and then I go to new movie recording. So then when that pops up, and then when you click that, the webcam will kind of pop up, but then you can click on this little button over here and then it will give you the option to click Carissa's iPhone or whatever your name is with your iPhone. And then here it is. There you are. Uh, here's my camera. Here's my iPhone that I'm filming on. And what I'm looking at right now is my laptop in which I can see what I look like, what the lighting looks like, if I am centered, you know, when I'm focusing my makeup products, this is gonna show me exactly where to get the middle so that when I focus it, I'm actually looking at the viewfinder, which is my laptop, so. It's a lot, I know that it's a lot of work and it's a lot of extra bullshit that you really shouldn't have to go through, but when you don't have the money to have an expensive camera and you wanna do YouTube or you wanna do Instagram, this is what you have to do. I'm telling you guys, you can do this don't think that you can't don't think that you have to have this great camera or really expensive equipment to be an instagram influencer i'm here to tell you that i have almost 15,000 followers on instagram and i've done it by filming on my iphone i have never filmed on anything other than my iphone and this is back when i had the six so so that is it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed these five tips and tricks and i will again have that other iPhone filming video linked down below so you guys can see that because that seems to be very popular as of lately. See you guys in Saturday's video and I hope you have a zenful day. <laughs> Bye.